This is quantitative methods, lecture 4, index numbers. Index numbers allow relative comparisons over time. It measures the percentage change in the value of some economic commodity over time. When talking about some single item, we will consider fixed based index and chain based index. When talking about group of individuals, we will consider simple mean index and simple aggregate index. Let's consider the first case. In the table below, number of goods produced by Alphabet Gamma Co. for the period of 2010 and 2014. In order to compute fixed base index, we compare each value with the value in the same base period or fixed period. As you can see in this formula, we take one year as a base year and we divide the current year, which is yt, by y0, the base year, and simply multiply by 100, where iy is the index number of commodity y, yt is the value of commodity y at time t, and y0, value of commodity y in the base period. Okay, now let's consider this data and let's calculate fixed base index and making the base year 2010. So in order to find the fixed base index for 2010, we will have to divide this number, 9,900, 9, by itself because this is the base year. And basically 9,000 divided by 9,000 multiplied by 100 is going to be 100. For the base year, the year that we are considering will be 100 always. Now for the next year, we will have to divide the current year, so yt is the current year, which is 10,200 divided by the base year, which is 9,900 multiplied by 100. And for this one, you're going to get 303.5. So for the 2011, we just write the fixed base index for 2011 is 103.3. Now for the next one, we do the same thing and we do not change the base. So basically 12,000 divided by, again, 9,900 multiplied by 100. And we're going to get 121.21. And for the rest of the years, we do the same. We divide each number, current number, by the base year, which is 9,900. 125.76. So basically, we calculated the index faced fixed base index for these five years, making the base year 2010. The next thing we may want to consider is the relative change to base year, where we just compare all these indexes with the base year. So if we compare the first one, so relative change is zero, the relative change here is 3.3, so compared to the first year, and so on. So we basically subtract 100 from each of these numbers. 25.76 and 50.51, which is very easy and just a simple arithmetics. Okay, now let's consider chain-based index. In chain-based index, the base is not fixed. In chain-based index, what we do is we compare the years with the previous year and just write down the change. You have to divide the value of commodity Y at time T by the value of commodity Y at time previous to T or the previous year and multiply by now we need to find chain-based index for each year. So if we want to calculate chain-based index for 2010 and there is no data for the previous year, we just leave it blank. So we don't write anything here. 
So what we do is we start from 2011 and compare it to 2010. In order to do so, what we do is we basically divide 2011's number, which is 10,200, by the previous year, which is 9,900, and multiply by 100. And our answer would be 103.3. Okay, so 103.3. Now, to calculate the chain base index for 2012, what we do is we simply divide 12,000 by the previous year's number of goods sold, which is 10,200 and multiplied by 100. And that's equal to 117.6. 117.65. Now for 2013, we divide 12,450 by the previous year, which is 12,000, multiplied by 100, 103.75. Okay? So 103.75, and for this one also, we basically divide 14,900 by the previous year's value, which is 12,450, and multiply by 100, 119.68. So here we basically calculated the chain base index. Well. It means that you compare the years with the previous. Well, now for this column, relative change to the previous, we basically write down the numbers subtracting 100 from them, meaning that's 3.3, 17.65, and 19.68. And that's it. So this also can be used as a percentage change, which is exactly what it shows. Let's consider case two. The below table gives the average price of Apple products in 2013 and 2014. In order to calculate the change of average prices over one year of Apple products, we have to compute simple mean and aggregate index. The index is calculated by finding the average mean of all individual price relatives, where PC is the current price of an item, TO is the base price of an item, and is the number of items. In order to calculate simple mean index for this data, what we do is we first find the changes over here for each product and then we sum them and divide by the number of items and the formula for this is going to look like this so p c which is the current price divided by the base price or the previous so we do this for each item and then sum all of these after summing all of these, we divide this by the number of items. Finally, we multiply it by 100, and that's going to give us simple mean index. Now, let's see it in the real example. All right, so what we want to do is we want to find out the price change of each of the items separately. So in order to do so, we start from iPod Touch. So iPod Touch was $310 in 13 and $290 in 2014. So the price has actually decreased. So in order to see the change, what we do is we divide the current price by the previous price plus we look at iPhone 5S prices. So it has actually increased. 
from 570 to 630. So 630 divided by 570 plus, now we consider apple air, 1590 divided by 1200. And we have to add all of these and divide them by the number of items, which is 3. And after dividing it, we multiply everything by 100 and we will get our SMI. So in our case, it's going to look like this. So pause this video for a minute and calculate these numbers, divide these numbers for yourself and see what answer you're going to get. And I will give you the answer just right away. So our simple mean index for this problem is 112.90. So if you get the same answer, you did the calculations correct. Okay, now let's consider simple aggregate index. We simply sum all of these items and get these numbers. Divide the sum of current prices by the sum of the previous prices and multiply by 100. And the formula for this simple aggregate index is going to look like sum of PC, which is the current price, and sum of PO, which is the initial price, divided by 100. And in our case, it's going to be 2510 divided by 2080 multiplied by 100, and that's going to be 120.67. So, and this is the simple aggregate index. In real life, we use index numbers everywhere. For example, in economics, we can calculate the inflation which is consumer price index using index numbers. In finance, we use index numbers to calculate change of prices over time. So index numbers are very important to calculating the difference or showing the difference by how much one thing has increased or one thing has decreased and, and so on. In today's lecture, we covered fixed base index, chain base index. This is for individual items. And for a group of items, we calculated simple mean index and simple aggregate index. Thank you for watching the video and make sure you go over the tutorial questions to make sure that you understand the topics very clearly and you are ready for the quiz.